Hi guys, I just want to do a little comparison with these two uh, uni lamps. Because um, obviously if you look them up online, the blue one here yeah. will um, cost a lot more, even second hand, than your standard Roadworks Amber one. Um, there is a big difference when you can see the flash is different for stars because uh, that's using the strobe the Zenon strobe and this one's just a standard filament like bulb so I'm going to turn that one off and hopefully while that one's off the capacitor will discharge and won't give me a shock I'm going to take the top off of this one they both use 6 volt square batteries And uh, when you look at the bases, this I'm trying to do this at a funny angle. And this is my fifth attempt because things keep interrupting. Anyway, when I take the other circuit board off, you'll see that both of them look identical from the bottom here. But uh, when you look at this circuit, well, I say circuit, when you look at this board, circuit board is under there and that big thing you can see under there on the circuit board is the light sensor. And it's got all the other bits and pieces under there that makes it flash. Actually, I'm not so sure it has got a light sensor now. Because uh, I just realised I've got all this light in here and that was still flashing. But anyway, that's all it is. It's that little circuit board with uh, the older lamps will just have physical components like a transistor and resistor and a couple of capacitors. I actually think they have a couple of uh, transistors. Uh, da, 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 da. I was trying to think. There's one that I can get to easily to show you. There is. Uh, two seconds. Right, so here's an older circuit. They've, <laughs> they've actually used this as the circuit board, but there it is. It's just um, off-the-shelf items, as they say, you know. I can go on eBay and get all of those and make a flashing light. Simple. Two transistors, two resistors, and a little capacitor. Um... And you, actually, you would buy these like a pack of a hundred for like, I don't know, one pound or something. They're ridiculously cheap for a big job lot of them. Hence why uh, standard lamps are actually the cheapest. This blue one, however, is a little bit more complicated. <laughs> it's not as simple as five components. And as you can see on the bottom here, Looks exactly the same, apart from this little lock here. It's just to stop people undoing the base. Now I've got to be careful, because there is actually a warning on this for electric shock. And there is a high voltage label on this side. So you do have to uh, be um, careful. Stupid locks getting in the way. <laughs> right. Hang on just a second. It's a bit of a pig to get out of this. This one is. There we go. Right. Now the first thing I'm going to do is just stick that screwdriver across there, I hope. Just to short that capacitor out, right, so if I do touch anything, I shouldn't get a shot. But like I said, a little bit more complicated. Because um, basically, what this does, you have that capacitor that holds the charge, the high voltage charge, and obviously, you've got the circuitry here that generates the high voltage charge. 
which is what that is part of. And I'm guessing from this adjustable potentiometer, this is all um, coated in a waterproof coating as well. I've just realised that. That would add to the cost. That's why this is actually quite shiny. I don't know if you can see that. Because everything is coated in a waterproof coating. Anyway, I'm guessing that you can adjust the flash rate as well. Which is probably what this um, little IC and circuitry over here is for. Don't know what the white wire is for there. There's some thingy caps here. And a little transistor down here. See a few Xena diodes in there and a standard one down there. But it's as simple as that, that's a 350 volt capacitor. That doesn't mean that's what it's discharging when it discharges, but that's what the that's the voltage it can handle up to. So I've got a high voltage capacitor in there. I've got a smaller one there. They're the only two electrolytic caps in there. I can't remember what these orange ones are called. But yeah, then you've got your Xenon strobe tube up there. Not replaceable unless you know how to use a soldering iron. And given how well coated this is, it might be a pain to actually solder. So, I'm going to get this put back together. Get that lock thing out of the way. That's where that's all got to be. Twist it on, twist me a little lock round, screw that down. I just thought this is a bit more interesting than the um, standard lamp, so I thought I'd just show you the insides. Put that back on there. Whee! And all the police would do, would just stand that on the road like it is, or use the um, pull-out cone bracket and... Uh, Stick it on the uh, car. Just marks police road closures and uh, incidents. That's what they're used for. So yeah, just a quick little video to uh, show you the insides of that. That's what it does. It just basically generates a high voltage. And I'm guessing it's charged and then time to release at a certain pace. I don't know what the flash rate is of that. Something like that anyway. Uh, yeah, so thanks a lot for watching. If you like this video and found it interesting, give me a thumbs up. It's much appreciated. And I love you a long time. I don't know where the hell that come from, but never mind. <laughs> Anyway, getting serious again. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye. <coughs> My bloody voice. Bye.